So the next question that we have here is how do you write 35% as a fraction in simplest form? So 35% is the value that we're trying to write into a fraction. So we need to write as a fraction and we also need to simplify it down um, where there's no way to factor it. So here we know right away 35%, an easy way to represent it in fraction form is just 35 over 100. So for any percentage, um, you can just write that value on top and put 100 on the bottom in the denominator. So we'll write that down over here again. The first thing we want to do is uh, think about what are factors of 35 and then what are factors of 100. So factors of 35 be 1, 7, 5, 35. We know 7 times 5 will give us 35, so 7 and 5 are factors. And then we have for 100, we also have 1, we have 2, we have 5, uh, we have 20, we also have 10. So we, we can keep going, but right away we see that we have, we have 5 in both 35 and 100, so they're both divisible by 5. So we can start off with that. We'll divide the top and the bottom by 5, and this will give us 7 on top. So 35 divided by 5 is equals to 7, and then 100 divided by 5 is 20. So we'll look at this fraction again. We'll think about, okay, 7, what are factors 7? So 7 is just a prime number, so 1 and 7, and then... 20 um, as factors 1, 4, 5, and 20, so also 2 and 10, but none of those match 7, so we know this is the simplest form here. So we know because there's no factor, 20 can't be divided by 7 here, so we can't really simplify it any further, so we know the simplest form is just 7 over 20. Okay, so they follow a similar, so here, same process followed, 35 over 100 for the percentage, and then divided by 5 to get 7 over 20. Here they show another example, so what is 10% as a fraction? So 10 over 100, we divide both top and bottom by 10, and we'll get 1 over 10. And then here, 15 over 100, divide both sides, both the numerator and the denominator by 5, we have 3 over 20. We can't divide that out any further and get the simplest form here. So